guys, welcome back to another episode of Maled Eats. I'm Maled, we'll be eating. And today we're making red wine braised short ribs. And this recipe is kind of similar to something I've done before, but the taste is completely different. It's absolutely delicious. You have to try this recipe. So without further ado, please enjoy the video. First, we're gonna use about three pounds of bone-in short rib and season heavily with salt and pepper. Then you're gonna chop two large white onions first in half and then lengthwise to create slices and then crosswise to create a perfect dice. Then you're gonna get a whole head of garlic and slice in half crosswise. And it should look like this. Then in a large Dutch oven over high heat, you're gonna heat up three to four tablespoons of vegetable oil to sear your ribs. Sear them one at a time, making sure not to crowd so that it gets a nice color. And then when it gets a beautiful caramel color, just like this, set them aside on a plate while we cook our vegetables. In the same pot over medium heat, add your chopped onions, two sliced stalks of celery, two sliced carrots, and saute until tender, which should take about two to three minutes. Then add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, give them a mix until all the vegetables are coated, and then add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Cook out for another two minutes, and then you're gonna add two cups of red wine, preferably use Cabernet Sauvignon. Give that a good mix, and then add the beef back to the pot along with any accumulated juices on the plate. Let that simmer for 20 minutes and then add your fresh oregano, thyme, rosemary, garlic, and parsley. Then top it off with three cups of beef stock, making sure to cover all the ingredients. Stir everything together and then bring to a boil. Cover and then let that cook in the oven for two to two and a half hours at 350 degrees. Make sure to check on it every now and then. Carefully take it out of the oven and then gaze at the beauty that is this dish. Transfer the short ribs into a bowl, remove the bone and set aside. Then you're going to strain the sauce into another bowl and make sure to squeeze the veggies of all the juices so that you get a really good sauce. Let the sauce cool completely and then using a spoon Discard the accumulated fat that's on top of the sauce. Then to reuse the sauce, heat in a saucepan with the beef, and then serve the beef with the heated sauce over mashed potatoes. And enjoy. All right, and that's how you make red wine braised beef short ribs. Look at that, uh, gravity. It looks so good. I'm so excited to try this. Now, let's dig in together with a little mashed potatoes, the perfect bite. Cheers. Mm. Just right off the bat, you get the richness. So many herbs and spices, it tastes so good. I'm definitely gonna make this again. One more bite, hold on. Mm. That sauce is so good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why in the comments below. And I'll see you next time on Maled Eats.